I'm using that as a thumbnail. <laughs> If you love to thrift and junk, sometimes you have to finish projects. All of these projects here were under $5, and everybody who was watching our Saturday night live thrift haul wants to know how this orange bunny is gonna turn out. It was orange, and I'll show you guys what it looked like before. So today, watch us finish all of our projects and get them relisted on our website. A lot of people ask us, where do we sell these items? They were all available at jamierayvintage.com. Some have pre-sold, and some of them are still available. Today, we're gonna be doing weathered wood, probably a white, maybe apothecary or farm fresh. I'm gonna divide these into color piles based off of what I wanna paint them. And I'm also gonna separate out things that need a little bit of work. So Zeb can do that while I start painting. These have paper on them. And if you just paint over this, when they get damp, they'll bubble, they'll peel up, they won't hold up. So we've gotta soak these in warm water to get all the paper off before we paint them. All right, so the reason we're soaking these off in the first place is because this one came from the thrift store like this. It was all pulled and peeled up. Don't know what happened to it, but the rest of them have to come off. We got a bunch of leftover odds and ends paint. Most of this is DIY paint, and we're going to just be painting until we run out of a color, and then we'll move on to the next. First, we're gonna put another coat on this bunny. Zeb's gonna insert the picture of the orange original bunny here. Well, you can show them what the bottom yeah. looks like. It was all this color was pretty bad. It's velvet, who knows I why. I feel like I should paint the bottom. Yeah, the bottom and some under his arms and stuff, that all needs painted still. All right. Okay, this goes pretty quick, especially with the darker paint. And if it's not shiny, usually you can get away with one coat coverage because we're gonna distress and wax all of this. I'm working over here, I've got this gold frame. We're just gonna be adding even more gold to it, taking some of the white away, and then we're going to do a dark wax and kind of give it some age and detail that way. This is Golden Ticket from DIY, and then I've also got Pennies from Heaven, which is a copper patina, and we're gonna go over the church with that. I've switched from weathered wood to farm fresh because I have just a little bit of weathered wood left and I want to save that for touch up on those items I just painted. So make sure if you're finishing up a color that you don't do it all the way because you always need touch up. So I paint till I get just about to the end and then I switch colors. I've got my angle grinder with a cutoff wheel on here. Angle grinders are amazing. I use them for woodworking, I use them for masonry, I use them on metal all kinds of different uses, depending on what kind of wheel you have on here. I'm in there grinding and Jamie painted all the stuff. You can see that used to be black. You can see the contrast in the difference between wet and dry on the farm fresh. I also painted a rolling pin, but I put it over there because I always get the rolling pin dirty. And so I painted the edges and I put it somewhere else to dry. All right, just a little bit of sandpaper on this to smooth out a couple sharp spots. Doesn't take too much. That looks so much better. I know some people like the handles, but I do. The paint job on this wasn't bad. It's just kind of splotchy and looks like it was distressed on purpose, which we try to avoid that. We want it to look like it's been in a barn for a hundred years, not sanded with a sander. Sometimes we, we get a little on purpose. One of our favorite things, get the paint on there quick, especially when you're painting something like knobs or hooks, weird angles, rounded detail. And then once it's on there, come back smooth, smoothie brush strokes out. Or leave them crazy and do a second coat. And when you distress back, you'll get all that fun detail. First coat is on, we're gonna go run some errands and then we'll come back and put the second coat on all of these pieces. All right, Jamie is second coating. Usually just some touch up on these with the DIY paint and I am going to go scrape paper off of tin. Mmm, this is a tasty soup. <laughs> The face on this bunny probably was done with Sharpie marker. It doesn't want to go away. So I'm going to do two coats of Salvation Solution and then it'll be ready for some more paint. 
Now the salvation solution is dry. I added another coat of Farm Fresh and the face is gone. These are painted in Farm Fresh, just one coat. You can see they're a little bit streaky. We've got some vintage linen and some hay sailor and some water. Just gonna dip a little bit into this hay sailor and put that on there. I've got some skeleton key on my brush still because I'm not worried about it. Grab some vintage linen. It's not necessarily a blended paint finish. I'm just basically mixing colors, but the result when I wet distress this back is really cool and it gives it a really nice aged look. Maybe we're gonna go with a little more Hey Sailor, darken that up a little bit. And then every now and then come get some water. Really helps your paint move, gets those colors going together. If there was ever any uh, paint advice that we give to the world, it's throw your paint on there quick and then smooth your brush strokes. Okay, so I've decided to put a stripe on this and then I'm gonna use this sheep transfer part of the brocant. So I'm gonna let Zeb do the stripe because he's really good at keeping it straight. Should we do it there or should we do it in the middle? We'll see. All right. And we'll see how straight it is. It's time to do the wet distressing and I'm just gonna pull some of these colors back. We'll hopefully get some farm fresh from below, but if we don't, it's gonna be okay. It's turned out to be a fun blue color and the farm fresh was a nice base color. You're not able to do this with the wet distress on every paint out there, but because DIY paint is all natural and water soluble, it sticks really well to everything. But if you want it to come off, it comes off pretty easy too until you seal it. Once it's sealed or cured up, this stuff stays on there pretty well. It takes it about 30 days to cure hard because of the clay base. To pick up the paint and products that you see us use today, be sure to visit jamierayvintage.com. We'll put a few links in the description box below. DIY's white wax is all natural, water-based, and super easy to apply. It's creamy and makes everything look so much better. A little whitewash goes a long way. I'm following behind Jamie and wiping off all the excess white wax. If you leave it on there, it won't dry out and it can get a little bit crusty and probably a little more white than we want. We want to be able to see some of the original paint color. All right, the one that everyone's been waiting for, this orange bunny. Oh man, oh man, I don't know if that was a good idea. It's velvet, so we'll see what comes off. I just want you to know that I do this experimenting for you so that you don't have to struggle like I am right now. All right, I would say that this is a solid fail. The wax did not absorb down into the velvet and then when I tried to wipe it back, so because it was clumpy and weird, uh, we got the orange back with some of the weathered wood paint. I know you're supposed to wax last, but I think I'm going to, because this is like a velvet, I think I'm gonna to try to paint this again, see what happens, see if we can save this thing.
We're gonna be using DIY black wax to antique this. So we'll put it on here in a little section and then wipe it back and it's gonna get a great aged look. Because the patina already has a sealer, it helps it to not get so muddy looking and then it just stays down in the cracks. Thanks for coming along with us while we spent our afternoon crafting. Zeb counted 23 individual items that we paid under $5 for. Some of them have already sold, but we will get the listings updated for the ones they haven't at jamierayvintage.com. So just a little bit of paint and probably a couple, I'd say three hours total between dry time and whatnot that we got these all finished and they look great. Really easy thrift flips. If you guys have projects that you need to knock out of the park, pick two to three colors and a basic finish with some a little bit of IOD and stencils and you really can get a lot of things done. I really like this new color on the bunny mostly because it's sticking. We're gonna let it sit for a few days since we had wax underneath that just to make sure it's dry before we ship it out. But it's looking like cement stone now, whereas before it was just a, like a splotchy orange mess. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Occasionally I need to breathe. Stop me for a second, I got